briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1999, the Florida District Court of Appeal heard the case of Association for Retarded Citizens Volusia, Inc. v. Fletcher, focusing on the principle that a party causing an injury is responsible for any damages resulting from subsequent negligent treatment. They cannot require the injured party to pursue a claim against medical providers who treated the injury. The case arose when a non-profit organization called ARC was sued for negligence following the drowning of a boy named Nathan at a summer camp they organized. Nathan had severe developmental disabilities, and while his mother informed ARC of his condition and medication, this information was not shared with the camp counselor or lifeguards. Nathan was later left unsupervised and drowned in the deep end of the pool. ARC argued that Nathan should have been taken to a closer medical facility, but failed to establish that negligent medical care contributed to his death. The court found ARC responsible for Nathan's death and awarded damages to his estate, a decision which ARC unsuccessfully appealed. In its ruling, the court determined that the trial court did not err in granting partial summary judgment and denying ARC's motion, favoring Miss Fletcher due to evidence of negligence. Ultimately, the court held the initial tortfeasor in this case ARC, liable for the subsequent damages, and disagreed with their argument to change the common law rule. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lsd.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.